Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the open type slots. In this session, we will discuss the, the next slot is semi-open type slots. So in the open type slots, the construction is like this. Semi-open, just to observe here, just to observe here, this is semi open, not completely open. But here it is completely open. That's why it is called open, open type slot and this is compared with it has less. That's why it is called the semi open slots. This has some advantages and disadvantages. First we look at the disadvantages. Here access to large former coil is not possible. So if you want to add some coils, so we are using initially low number of coils if you want to increase the coils. The large number of coils is not possible here. Less amount of coils is possible. So coil is not possible. Next. Winding procedure difficult but not complicated. So whenever it has less space, the winding procedure is somewhat difficult but not complicated. We will, we will do that. There is a difference between the difficult and complicated. We will do that. Next. The leakage reactance offers open loop slot is more compared with semi-open slot. With semi-open slots. So there is free, there is free, free flux is there. So that's why leakage reactance is more there and here less is there. Okay. Next, we have some advantages. If you keep the disadvantages apart, we have some advantages. First, average length of air gap is reduced. Here, compare with that, here air gap length is high. Here, the average overall average length is decreased. So, magnetizing current value is decreases. The magnetizing current is very important factor that will be decreases. So, no load and running power factors are improved. So magnetizing currents, first what is magnetizing current there? The magnetizing current is generally I naught sin phi, I naught sin phi. Whenever this value is decreases, sin phi value decreases. And what about cos phi? Cos phi value increases. Then the power factor will be improved. Power factor will be improved. So here the power factor improvement is better. Second, the flux distribution is nearly uniform. But in the open type, there is not uniform. Here, the flux distribution is uniform. That means almost the flux is almost approximately same flux. The harmonic torque is reduced. Unwanted torque. Harmonic torque is unwanted torque. The torque is also reduced. So, by the semi-open type slots, we have the advantages is there is magnetizing current value is reduces and that's why power factors will be improved and the flux distribution is uniform so harmonic torques will be reduced the disadvantage is here the larger formal coil is not possible and winding procedure somewhat difficult and maximum torque is less compared with the open type slots these are the disadvantages next closed type slots so look at here Open type slot means this open, semi open type slot means this is the semi open type slot and the closed type slot is completely closed. The slot is like this. The slot is completely closed here. So look like this. Here these slots also have some disadvantages and some advantages. First we will look at the disadvantages. The first is access to former coil is not possible. So in order to add some coils or some winding to that, it is not possible. Open is possible, semi-open is somewhat possible, but for the closed, it is not possible at all. Next, winding procedure is complicated, very, very complicated winding procedure. Giving the winding procedure is very, very a difficult thing. Next, leakage reactance also very, very high. It is consisting of the XL value is very, very high. So these are the main disadvantages of the open type slots. Sorry, closed type slots. What are the advantages? Average length, length air gap is very less. So look at here. 
the, by doing this the air gap complete air gap will be decreases here as a result the magnetizing current is also less so for, by this the magnetizing current value is also less very reduced next no load running power factors are very good no load power factor as well as running power factor is improved very very high and the flux distribution is uniform here complete flux distribution is possible okay so this is about the closed type slots what are the advantages of closed type slots here average length of the air gap is less and magnetizing current is also less so no load and running power factors improve flux distribution is the uniform so access to former coil is not possible here here the winding procedure is the complicated thing leakage reactance is very high so these are the problems with the closed type slots next so we should compare some important characteristics of the induction motor for the different different slots this is the open slot and this is the semi open slot and third one is the closed slots for this we should discuss about what are the values first leakage reactance leakage reactance generally open type slots is less so i can write like this xl not xl not no problem is less compared with this and again very less magnetizing current magnetizing current it will draws more magnetizing current because leakage reactance is less it draws more magnetizing current less and less no load power factor is very very poor here poor means less no load power factor is open type slot is poor but it will be improved by semi semi open to closed type that's why this will be like this and what about running power factor running power factor also same thing running power factor is represent cos phi 1 and cos phi 1 and the cos phi 1 it is also improved but what about the maximum torque maximum torque is inversely proportional so open loop is open loop slot having the more maximum torque and compare with the semi open and compare with the closed so it has the more maximum torque starting torque also same thing starting torque also it consisting of the open type slot has the more starting torque and compare with the this and again compare with the this okay and what about the harmonic torque harmonic torques also follows the same procedure for open loop slots flux distribution is non uniform that's why harmonic torque is high for the open loop slot and compare with the semi open loop slot and compare with the closed loop slots compare with the closed loop slots sorry this is the harmonic torque these are the important parameters those are which type of slots you should use in the construction of the induction machine so these are the very important things so by observing the all these points we should select the which is better thing the generally open loop slot having some advantages and closed loop slots also having some advantages so that's why most the combining of the most of induction machines most of induction machines are used or used semi open type slots semi open type slots because they are having the combination of combination of advantages this is very very important thing and but sometimes but sometimes we have some restrictions that is for high rated machines for high rated machines for example if it is more than 50 hp if it is more than 50 horsepower 
Open type slots are preferable. Mm. Open type slots are preferable. So rating increases. The open type slots are preferable for. And we have and another important thing for low rated machines. We have low rated machines also. That means less than 1 HP. Just take it less, less than 1 HP. Then closed type slots are preferable. Closed type slots are preferable. So depends on the so depends on the rating of the machine also the slot slots are preferable the rating of the machines also important the slots will be decided so that's why by all the characters if you observe here most of the induction machines are semi open type slots this is the first thing and second thing for high rated machines more than 50 h the open to open type slots are preferable for low rated machines that is less than 1 HP closed type slots are preferable so these are the selection of the slots for the different different of induction machines I hope all of you understand the session thank you